Hey there guys, it's Rick Uter here with Ergon Web and Ergon Web TV. And I gotta tell you, I'm watching Ben and Angie have all kinds of fun with their gamo gear that they got. And I haven't been hardly able to do any of it. Well, that all changes right now. I've got the new Gamo Bone Collector 10X Swarm. Not sure what order that goes in, but this thing is awesome. So I've had the Bone Collector before. It's a great shooting gun. It's just really, really nice. They took a, an already great gun from Gamo. They dropped it in a really nice wood stock. That was the original Bone Collector. And now they've added the Swarm system to the top of it. So you already had a great gun, good wood stock. Now you got 10 shots on tap. But before you can just start sending lead down range, you got to get your gun ready to shoot. And that's going to be our first video. How do you prep your gun, get it ready to take out to the range to make sure you're going to be successful and you're hitting the targets you want to be hitting. All right. So in the box, what do you got? Well, obviously you got your gun, got your magazine. This is super important. You've got your, looks like a quick start guide, kind of how to mount your scope, and that's sort of what we're going to talk about today, so let's keep that here handy. We've got our scope, and we've got our sort of manuals and whatnots. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this all down. All right, so that's what we got in the box. That goes over there. We'll grab this, and let's get to work. Beautiful wood stock, really nicely put together. It's lightweight. It feels great. Just a really, really nice gun. Now, it doesn't have open sights, so that is something we're going to have to address straight away, and that's why they actually include a scope with it right here. Now, this is your standard uh, gamo scope, sort of gets you started. Here. All right. This has their 4x32. All right, let's get it out of the box here. Manual. Got a little bit of wind out here today, so forgive me for just tossing this unnecessary stuff on the ground. Is an Allen key in here somewhere. There it is. Okay. So I'm going to put this stuff away. All right. So this part is really important. Okay. So here's your scope. Now, what's cool about this is it is a basic scope, but it is an aluminum tube. It's pretty doggone clear. It's probably parallax to 35 yards. So you know, if you're trying to shoot really, really close, it's going to be blurry. But you get past, say, 35 yards or so, maybe even 25 yards, it's going to be pretty clear. So you're going to be, you're going to be okay. You're going to have adjustable turrets here. We'll take these scope caps out. So this is what you're going to use to adjust up and down, left to right. Now, some of you guys, this is old hat. You know, Rick, why are you going through this? Well, because this is like one of the biggest questions I get is exactly how you do this. So this is why we're doing this video. We want you to be successful. And this part here is super important. So on this back mount, you're going to see a pin. That pin has to go in that hole. What that does is when this gets locked into place, it stops the scope from shifting. So when you fire this, the ram flies forward, slams in the front, jumps the gun forward. The scope's going to want to slide backwards when that happens. So we have a stop pin in here that locks into that hole and that stops the scope from moving. It helps you stay on target. So now Gamo uses a Torx bit. I don't know the exact number, but it's not an Allen key. It's a torque. So they send you with the little doodaddy. All right, so we're going to go ahead and loosen these mounts up. Okay. Plenty of room there. Now you're going to line it up on that hole. And it's going to drop into place. Now that's going to be relatively secure. You want to make sure that you're grabbing that little dovetail. That's what that's called. It's got 11 millimeter dovetail. And those mounts sort of grab it. So that's what you want to have happen. On the back side here, I'm going to just tighten these down. Okay. OK, 
Okay, not too tight yet. I want to make sure that we're all locked into place there. Okay. All right, now we can go ahead and start kind of slowly tightening them up. You don't want to do like all of one. You want to do a little bit, then maybe the other one a little bit, then back to the first one a little bit, then back to the back one a little bit. So you kind of work it in slowly so you don't fatigue or bend the metal unnecessarily. Just do back and forth. The important thing is, I know you want to get out and shoot your gun, as I do, but you don't want to ruin it before you ever get to pull the trigger. So take your time. Don't rush. Okay, we're about there here. It would be really easy if you went kind of all one screw at a time to actually not get it locked down all the way. And that's not what you want. That'll definitely damage your scope or your gun. So just take your time. Get it buttoned up here. Oh, that is on there now. Okay. Okay, so that should be good and tight. Now, you're not done yet. But you want to look through the scope here and see and make sure that your crosshairs are straight. I'll tell you how I do it. I mean, you can get a level out and get really particular about it. But we're shooting 25 yards here, guys, not two and a half miles. So, I mean, you're looking to get pretty close. Okay, so that is pretty clear, and it is pretty close. So I don't think I need to rotate that to straighten it at all. It's pretty much good to go. Now, if you have to rotate you, so maybe it's a little canted a little bit, you'll loosen these top screws, and you'll straighten it up, and then you'll very slowly tighten them all up again, just like we did before. You sort of cross to it. And you work your way around. You don't do one screw at a time. You kind of do a little bit here, a little bit there, slowly, so that you don't kind of bend or bend the metal in a, in a wrong direction. So before we go and just try and do something, though, I am going to make sure all of these screws are tight, because if you don't, you could have your scope moving around on you. And I could tell you that these are loose. So it was a good thing we checked them. You want to make sure everything's tight. These spring guns, I know it's a gas ram gun, but I grew up when they were springers. But these guns will recoil, and they will jar things around. So you got to make sure everything stays tight. Okay. Back over here. Again, we're doing these kind of cross pattern. Taking our time. Just go slowly. Okay. That's pretty nice. Okay, I've got good eye relief, good clear picture. I can just pull up and I have a nice clear sight picture, no problem at all. So that worked out great. Now there's a couple more things we want to do before we start dropping pellets in this. Let me go get some other tools and I will be right back. What's the last thing you need to do before we start loading the mag and sending some lead down range? Well, I want to check all of our stock screws. And so this gun actually uses an Allen right here and a torque in the back. So let's set this like this carefully. And it looks like it's probably a four mil. Yeah, it was loose. All right, so why do I do this? Well, if your stock or your action slopping around in your stock, you're not going to have any accuracy. So you want to make sure these are tight. You want to over tighten. And if you find that they loosen up on you a lot, well, you can take them out, use some blue Loctite, and sort of make sure that it's tight. So again, you see I'm doing a little bit at a time here. I'm not trying to wrench down in any one point all at once. Gosh, the flies are bad today. All right, come on now. Woo, okay. Now I'll get out the torque bit. This is a, I don't know what size, 25, I don't know. All right, yep, yeah. too small. There we go. Yeah, this was really loose here. So, you know, this is one of those things that if you don't know this, you throw the scope on it, you're starting to shoot it, and you're not getting any accuracy. Well, the reason is you got to make sure all this is tight. And despite their best efforts, these things get shipped six ways till Sunday, man. They're bouncing around ships and who knows what. And so things loosen up. And 
overuse, you, know, you guys get your gun in, you're going to need to know how to do this. So it's kind of good we're talking about this. All right, so that's done. Everything's good and tight. Now what are we going to do? Well, let's load the mag. So here's our magazine. And I've got some Gamma Red Fire pellets because I know that's what this gun likes. At least it has always in the past. So I've got some right here. Okay, so this mag is super easy. It's got a picture right there. All you got to do is, you know, get the hole lined up, push your pellet in, and then just with your finger, move it to the next hole. There we go. There it is. Red fires have that little red end on them, so you got to kind of make it, nurse it through there. All right. I'm going to go ahead and just load this up now. Okay, so 10 shots and ready to rock and roll. So you got a little lever here. You flip that back, safety on, flip it forward, safety off. So we'll put the safety on. We're gonna go ahead and cock this now. There it is, super smooth. I love that about this gun. I'm just gonna put this into a dirt pile. There it is, let me do one more. All right, I'll put the safety on this time. Okay, safety off. All right, safety on. All right, okay, so we've taken this out of the box. We've put our scope on it. We've checked all our stock screws. We've loaded the mag. We've sent some test shots down range. Everything seems to be working. Next video, we'll sight in the scope, and then we'll see what we do next. Guys, that's it for now. My name is Rick Utzler. Thanks for watching.